Hello, everybody, and welcome to Brugu's Microsoft Azure Automation Tutorial. I'm going to take you to the quick walk of a ride to my own automation account, how it works with the Azure, what you can do with this kind of accounts, and what's the value that I add to the business. The very first thing is uh, how to create an automation account. So when you're going through the Azure automation, the very first thing you need to you need to write is call automation. And once you go and paste on automation here, you get a bunch of things showing on your panel here. So the very first thing that's showing right now is the one that how we can create an awesome automation account. Uh, you can see the logic apps here as well as some of the Brandbook Studio for Azure Automation. That's really interesting, but that's a third party, not from Microsoft. So you can see who's from Microsoft, who's from third party, based on the publishers here. So we're going to go and use this automation account. I already created one, and I can show you that. So when you create that, you're going to see a symbol for automation like this somewhere here. Oops. So let's go and click, click on that symbol and see what we get. I name it as a BGA automation. And this is what we get when you create a fresh new account. I would say this account as a run as account, where you get a separate Active Directory as well as certificates for more authentication purpose. So always remember to use run as account for automation. So plenty of things you can do with this automation is run books. You can see once you run the job, you can see in the job section what else the previous jobs we run. So it shows you how many jobs I have run with my automation accounts. That's what you need to do in the job section here. So you can see here, like I ran recently two jobs. One of them is completed, the other one I stopped. You can use this run book. So list of run books that are available or you can create and add a new run book. And then you can select this run book as, uh, you can use PowerShell, graphs. Let's try to see what are the options of a label here. When you create a new run book, there are different types of run books are labeled. So you can use a PowerShell workflow or a graphical PowerShell workflow or a simple PowerShell or a graphical. So these are the options that you can put your own run books. Run books are nothing but a PowerShell or a graphical scripts that execute on your automation account to automate some of the scenarios. So let's say a nightly job, weekly job, or maybe we'll discuss more scenarios when we go forward. So basically an import uh, existing run books. So somebody has created an organization and you want to import that to the automation account. There's a feature here for import automation run books here. I'm going to take it very quickly. And before I want to go forward i want to show you something really quick and important that you don't miss about so let me let me show you something important is the credentials so one has to use credentials to add credentials that should be in your automation scripts within your run book of the powershell to recognize this is the credential for this run book Again, certificate is also one of the authentication important mechanism. But for that, you need to have, have some different modules that should be part of your automation accounts. So you can add your own partial modules, or you can browse and get some new partial modules. Like there are some of the default modules available within the automation account for using that modules PowerShell in your room. But let's say you want to add one more. Let me try something called MS Online here. That's together. That's there. Hey, hey, this is a module which is not a default module, but most important module for Microsoft Azure Active Directory for authentication. So we're going to add this module right now so that in future we can use this module. See, the command lights are labeled here all useful, very useful panelists. Let's go for it. You can even view in partial gallery. 
licensing information for some of the modules. So right now I just did import and I would place it okay. So I'm importing it and I imported it successfully here. So now I'm going to use Amazon Online Active Directory module in my PowerShell that I can put into the Runbook accounts and execute as a job. Interesting. So these are the module gallery and you can pick some of the new modules and add to automate your PowerShell or graphical PowerShells. There are keys in the account. You can even check the price and use it, but uh, right now Microsoft is giving a first certain hours free usage. We'll talk about DSC configuration a little bit later. This is more advanced stuff, but this is a basic video, so I'm not touching that. So this is what is the basic stuff about the automation account creation, what's the run book, how it works. I want to touch base quickly to the web hooks if I get one quickly. Okay, let's go here to the run books. Let's get one of the tutorial run books, which is a by default run book. And one can use the option here called web hooks. So like you can use a third party website or your own HTML page or let me discuss a scenario where you can use a run book. So let's say some person wants to use this for production support at certain time interval. Somebody wants to execute in production support this run book and execute using the website or maybe a mobile application. They can use a web hook to call their run books. This is pretty impressive scenario. So. I would go with the ServiceNow implementation, which which can be a ticketing tool as well. So one can create a support ticket, automate the job using that, use the webhook from ServiceNow, connect it with the runbooks of a label here as a PowerShell script with the API account, and they can schedule or maybe implement a job. I hope it's useful. So let's let's do this video complete and we're going to see you again